I made a mod and Hudson Fan 4 that snaps half of all countries out of existence and then allows the rest of the world to colonize it again, which causes some really fun ahistorical scenarios like Italy being competent. Thanos sighted. A strange purple man found the five Chaos Emeralds and he started dancing in the streets of Berlin. Authorities mentioned he escaped, but should be reported under any circumstance if seen. What's the worst that could happen? I wish we lived in more enlightened times. A loud snapping could be heard around the world and many people are reporting their loved ones are missing. Troublemakers were found in the streets screaming that half of all countries are being erased. Surely that's just a coincidence. One of two options will happen. 50% chance of gets event. The economy fools. 50% chance of nothing happens. Hooray! And now over the next two weeks we can see countries getting erased one by one by one. Oh yes, I like that seed. Actually, I don't like that seed. <laughs> Germany is gone. The economy fools. As you look out the window, you can see everything slowly fade to dust. Whoosh. I didn't want to play anyway. And if we wait a few more days, then fascinating. It seems everything is quieted down. It is up to us to rebuild the earth now. We should have listened to John Titor. The servants are gone, so a lot of this land can be captured. The US is gone, which I do like because we might have a few different actors here. I also like that Italy is still alive. There's a plethora of nations we could be playing. I really would like to play a Malaysia. They're in such a good spot with all of the resources here already. But Tanatuba would be funnier. You might be wondering, how does this actually work? We do have decisions. Every neighboring province that is uninhabited can be called by us for 20 PP. It will take 30 days. And if I take over to Japan, we can also see we can call coastal states. I'm not too happy about Tanatuva, if we're being honest. We can't really get into China and Japan is still alive. So so if we expand, it's very dangerous. I have already set up my navy and my air force, the army. That is just one guy with a stick, that's no army. I'm not gonna expand for a while because I'm more interested in getting the silent workhorse first. I made it so that the AI prefers to get, there we go, Tibet has already expanded as well and they are coastal now. The AI will prefer to get bordering provinces as you can see with Costa Rica. And then if they can't anymore, they will take coastal states probably take this state so we have the border province we can already see the banner looks blobbing as well as italy reclaiming anatolia and we have factory why do we have factories now this is something like this i guess <laughs> right we only have infantry equipment because we're tanatuba <laughs> We don't even have factories. Mongolia is expanding. I am tempted to also just take something here so we can ensure getting all of this land. Although if we're being honest, it's kind of pointless. Okay, things are very interesting now. I do want Guangxi. Guangxi sounds very good. Yeah, let's get this. No! Malaysia is just gonna be the rubber. No! Malaysia has all of the rubber in the world. All right, I guess I'm gonna take this as well. I do want stuff in America. I do want tech. Texas, definitely. <laughs> I want this oil. California would also be very nice. I don't want Canada to just absorb all of America. All right, colonies are set up. Ireland. Ireland is just colonizing the world. Feeling a bit British now, darling. This Luxembourg could be relatively scary or they can just be blocked in. Now, I feel like with other players, this could be very fun. For as much as this is about balance, it is not balanced. Sometimes you just want to have fun in the game, you know? How are our resources looking? I guess that's, yeah, thank God I reminded myself of that because that's probably the thing that is most important right now. Just bumping the resources here. Also, not defending Kizul would be pretty good because this is our capital right now, which means our supply flows through here and uh, that's not pretty good. That's why this seems so low. We're not getting our resources because we don't have convoys. <laughs> right? Delivery blocked. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, there's no port here. All of this Russian land is a lot on the map, but it's not that interesting if we're being honest. Can I get cancelled if I keep that in? I could still go for the pocket here. And <laughs> I'm just looking at this and it's useless. I guess this is all I'm gonna take. <laughs> Look at the oil. I can't stop. I literally can't stop. It's so fun to push the button. Nobody really cares about Mexico, huh? Okay, for real though. Let's switch to army defense. And then I guess I'm gonna rush down to the research slot. That's our biggest weakness right now. Do we have a war support guy? We do not. But one thing we can do is justify on France. That should spike world fire, which will give us a chance to increase war support, which will lead to us being able to get war econ. 
on. There we go. Honestly, right now, switching to free trade is probably one of the smartest things I could do. <laughs> oh, big Albania. We are also going to build in my favorite child, America. Free trade gives us research speed, factory output, construction speed. And the resources, we can't really use them right now anyway. Because we don't have the tech, so why would we need anything anyway? Naval reformer. Finally, a third research slot. Okay, I think that is pretty much the world. Wait, what? Italy is guaranteeing all... Wait, also did not submit to Italy. Because Ethiopia got snapped, they didn't progress on the civil war. There we go. Fix Italy for you. Uh, it's gonna take a while until we get the proper template here. <laughs> How did... Where did that come from? No! I designed my template. Come on, Paradox. I can't believe a bug happened in this. Very historical scenario. Wait, we also get calf bonuses. I didn't even see that. It's useless because whoever uses cavalry. But <coughs> that's cool. Oh, fuck, we need to train as well. I don't even have guns for the destroyer. Panic. And I want to do A to C at some point. Like, I will have to get used to not having any research. No, Zorg, why did you submit to Italy? You could have been so... No! No! <laughs> I have Mussolini on my border. There we go. This is almost the perfect destroyer. And I'm not even kidding there. Wait, did, did something just happen here? Could have sworn something just moved. Must have been the wind. Right, I will leave the common turn. I'm not interested in men. And instead, uh, we can draw border with Tibet. I'm also gonna hire the gamer. And I'm not sure if I wanna hold Burma. Do we need... Ah, uh, that's actually quite a bit of the stuff that we get from there. That's half of our tungsten. Yeah, let's get over there. I did not make it a flame tank again. Ich hasse mich. And if you hate me as well, please subscribe. There we go. Now we could go down to internationalism. But I am actually interested in getting a bit more manpower you know just a uh, seven percent that we get here so political discourse it is sas war over here looks like belgium is slowly advancing i guess i'm actually gonna build some dockyards now not amazing tbh but i'd rather get some toy boats than additional stuff that we can't afford to build i mean we can go down to free trade export or was it what is it export export focus yeah but 5% research speed, man. I do not approve of this. This is much more than Belgium should have. Doesn't really look like Tibet does have any units on the border. Even though they do know we can just go to war with them. So I guess we're gonna go... Wait. Ah, fuck. There we go. Now you can see them. They had camo. Right, Navy. We already have 16 destroyers. Wow. And they're all trash. Fukangan. You are our admiral. There we go. Play with them. I will come back later. All right. One encirclement. Let us... Oh, God. There's a I, can I fix that? Right. That is something I worried a little bit might happen because our capital is absolutely trash. Wait, do we not have... Oh, that's Japan. Okay, so we would need to do something like... Oh, God, that's so many railroads. There we go. We also need a railroad here. Probably not gonna work because of supply issues. Ooh, but wait a minute. This might actually be big. I know I can deploy some more units, but I wanna... I wanna have this war on an even playing field. Okay, never mind. They have deployed you. Oh, they have supply. Finally, we can defend. Let's take one pocket, one by one. Luxembourg and Belgium have signed a white piece. Are you serious? All of this for nothing. Right, I guess I will have to make this game interesting if the AI just doesn't want to annex anything. It's got to be so many divisions late game. Right, then let us make the Wasp division. There we go, the Wasp cast and fighters already and look at this oh the threat of communism yeah communism is a big threat but let me play with my two planes look at this oh point one damage why are all of those divisions so crap why did i decide to build boats the big problem for our divisions is that we just don't have any of the look at our infantry tech and our RT tech <sighs> why did you align with the west there is no west i guess canada and france exist and that's it oh <laughs> Come on, that's gotta be intentional. We now have Zhao Zhangji, and I guess I'm gonna get some submarines out. France, are you actually gonna create the faction? Okay, wait a minute. The only logical choice for a faction. The planes help quite a bit with pushing. Can I create a faction with somebody? Probably not. Buryatia. What would they get? They would get Buryatia. My genius is even staggering myself sometimes. I assumed that I had a gas leak for a while, but I haven't had a proper way to check. Until now. Sure. Faction name is already available. No. There we go. The dawn of faction name already exists, which allows us to get technology sharing. Finally, a doctrine. Doc. Doc speed. Uh, what is it? Uh, 
Research slot. Just a mild stroke. Nothing too out of the ordinary. It's just not fair pushing with Cass. Like you just want to pin and then suddenly you actually push the enemy out. Like look at this! There was one guy! There was one defensive division. Italy wants to form a faction with Bulgaria. Interesting. As if it was Russia, I will just have to build air bases to actually do anything here. Can we? Yes, we have pocketed a big chunk of the Tibetan army. And you can just order this, especially with the cast that falls in the matter of a few seconds. Bro, why are you so high? It's gonna take ages to annex you now. Italy declared one Luxembourg. Did they, did they get one because of Switzerland? Uh, probably Ticino. Anyway, uh, sure, the allies joins. And uh, no, Mussolini. Not even if you paid me for it. No, we lost the border again. Why is the airport down here? Soon. I'll be caught up with all of the tech that I want. Supply is a bit crappy. Let's fix this. Oh no, a truck truck didn't work. Sure, let's push into that one tile here for the supply hub. All right, can we do a push here? That's two provinces that we would have to push through. I'm even pushing over a river and I don't care anymore. These guys have a port, but I honestly don't really care because <laughs> where are you gonna flee to? We do have a few factions forming now. Just wish that people were in those factions. Ugh, this does not look fun. I can't reach it because there's impassable terrain. And Nepal is guaranteed by Canada. Now they seek immediate patriation. Patriation from whom? I don't think Britain exists anymore to really tell you anything otherwise. I have an idea. I have a great idea how I can fix this. The Tibetan problem without going to war with half of the world because Canada is guaranteeing them and then they're, they're gonna join the allies. And I want the AI to do a little bit on their own, like dealing with those 90 Polish divisions in this one tile. Italy is starting a very bold offensive. Or should I say bald offensive? <laughs> the United States and Canada formalize an alliance. Which United States? You don't even have the United States of Brazil, so you can't even say these are the United States. I can already tell you this is just a waste of time, but I just want to have some fun with it. Realistically, uh, we're not going to do any damage to war support. So uh, we also need other tools. The European war is not progressing at all. They've already lost 12.4 million. Look, there's 120 damage points power from strat bombing. And Buryatia is no more. But again, we do lose the Coronet, which is doo-doo. I assumed it was gonna be super slow and not at all efficient and I should just do something else with my time. But like, they are down to 90% war support already. A collab government would be much faster and nuking them would be much, much faster. There is no but. Ah, uh, we could start one with Mongolia. We even have a supply up here. Nice. Like it was meant to be. <laughs> 200 divisions. Okay, the only borders that we have of them are up here, which I will just let them take and then stuff down here. Road, radar station, airbase, and we're just gonna upgrade bottlenecks here as well. There is the super heavy battleship hole. Okay, god, the IC on that. <laughs> it's gonna take ages to deploy. Actually, not that bad. Just two years to build this thing. If this was a normal game, then two years is insane. Like by the time that you can build this thing, you'd have it in like 1946 or something. 1944 if you rush for it, something like that. But then your army is much weaker off. Italy is doing work though. Never mind. Italy will not be doing work for a lot longer. Neither will France. Designing ships is very hard. Just slap the biggest amount of anything you can on them and it's gonna be fine. Italy is... Wow! Mussolini is competent for once. I guess all we needed is for the UK and the US to disappear as well as the Soviets. And then even Mussolini can and conquer Europe. That should be a very important breakthrough though. Like all of Poland will now fall. Wait, Japan is also here. Oh my God, that's it for the allies. I mean, that's it for your faction name. Faction name is available. 10.5 million on Italy. Luxembourg, 8 million. I nuked you and you got war support. Come on, that's not how this works. Italy took 194 states. Oh right, they also got Guangxi. Because of course they do. But I still kind of wish strat bombers were stronger. I sometimes just want to build them, but then I do and it doesn't really feel like they do anything. Which I guess is pretty accurately historical. But still, it's, it's game, you know. Oh, well, we're having trouble pushing. I guess it is time to build a supply hub. Oh no, it's not time. It is time to build a railroad. Such interactive gameplay. Oh, I can even build two railroads. Wow. 
truly the pinnacle of gameplay. The North American Alliance. Canada, Nepal and Belgium. That's exactly what I think when I hear North American Alliance. God, Italy. Italy! <laughs> this is just... Mussolini is getting a little bit cocky. He's just declaring war on everyone. He can't get enough. He finally felt what victory feels like and he just... He can't help himself. He needs more. There we go. We have expanded for once. We already have one of the super heavy battleships. Look at it. It's out. Ah, I didn't want to deploy these guys. Goodbye. You are being shot. How did you manage that? I didn't give a pushing order. Where's this pocket coming from? <laughs> oh, I'm such a good Hearts of Iron 4 player. I'm doing encirclements in my sleep now. Sure, I guess I guess the push here is still fine because it's impassable terrain. So they're all gonna be encircled anyway. There's a British Navy that can stop Italy. So of course they can land in the UK relatively easily. Yay, Afghanistan is out. Just take it, please. I have no idea what my planes are doing here. Let's just do this. Stack it all up. Get Five billion air bases over here. All right, I'm gonna stop with these guys. You can go over here. And then we are gonna do some raiding in these zones, I think. This officer is a bit more salty than most people. All right, Mussolini, you have gone far enough with your conquering. It all, oh, cool flag. It all ends here. Oh, I know why we're getting bombed. Good thing I checked that. Let's first do this. Everybody gets cast and air superiority as rules. Why did this all go to Canada after I captured it? Oh, cool. And now it's back to Ireland. Yeah, he does have convoys. Uh, he just doesn't have that many. I guess I can't really convoy raid if you don't have any convoys. Oh, the Japanese are fighting back. They have retaken Britain and mostly survived the snap. That's very good. I guess we'll have Queen after all. We start justifying on Yemen. So many railroads to build. Total time. Wait, we can form the Siberian state. Woo! Greater Siberian realm. I preferred the old flag, but the color is cool, I guess. And we got more cores, which we definitely need. Let them push. The submarine specialist is also an anti-submarine specialist. I guess makes sense. If you know your strengths, you know your weaknesses. Don't make me get the nukes. Or the manual pushing. Don't really have orc down here or supplies. So we're gonna do this the old-fashioned way. By knocking. Even if I have to rebuild the supply up myself, that matters not. 800 divisions, but you are out of manpower. Probably should delete a few of those divisions. So you can actually, you know, use proper divisions. But hey, it's Mussolini, he knows best. When it comes to losing! <laughs> hey yo! Whoo, sheesh. He just conjured up 5,000 fighters from somewhere. But two can play at that game. I guess two could if I had my air bases up that I'm building right now. Once this is above 75%, we can also nuke some air. Ah, look at this. No, we don't have to range over here. But that would have been so fun to see the entire air force go to zero. That was half of his fighters. There we go. 4,000 fighters dealt with and it only cost me six nukes. Now that this is not really a problem anymore, we can split up the air force again. Just let it be auto managed. I kind of want to be in this boardroom meeting where somebody has to go up to Mussolini and tell him we just lost 4,000 fighters in one day. Might as well send these guys here for some pinning and then these guys can go here. We attack from here as well. Kaboom. That should solve supply problems a little bit here. Ah, we have to go. Our push was too effective because the allies are also striking back. So let's just go in. The supply, we cannot push, alas. Don't think there's another supply down here. Yeah, that's fine. Oh, uh, in that case, we can... Oh, let's just encircle Shaparogia. Come from the other side. Pocket. The rest, the AI should be able to clean the rest up. Or they just do nothing. We have 34% only. Oh, but <laughs> Italian Civil War. We're gonna get a lot of land. Didn't mean to do that. Ah, you were on auto-deploy. We attritioned our entire artillery stockpile here. Ha! Huh. Greece isn't at war with us. I assumed so because they had troops on the border the entire time. I think it's time that we get some mill access from Estonia. There's no point in trying to take everything anymore. That's it. No Italian Civil War. Shame. Japan. Please. I will make a mod for the PC system at some point. Jesus. We have the pride of the fleet here with our two super heavy battleships. Ooh, we can invite Albania. Good luck, my friend. If you were Zorg, I would help you. That's what you kept Italy alive for, huh? To immediately go to war with Italy again. Sure. I'm not gonna help you this time. All right, let's go in. Nobody's guaranteeing you 
That is how I like it. Ah, fuck, I pressed, I know, M. I pressed M again, I didn't see anything. I thought there were no troops here. In that case, let's take a look. What's your, you do have 10,000 planes. I just have to find the Japanese Navy. It's gotta be somewhere. Oh, fuck, Sakalin! I should have known. I really should have by now. I do think our spotting Navy isn't really working, though. Can we push with this one guy? By the power of Kaz, we can. Ugh! Estonia, Albania, Canadian, Albania, Japanese, Albania. That is not Albania, my friends. Guys, how are you listening to... Bolivia? Ah, that's why I'm not taking out any Japanese ships. Huh, I guess I should have looked at that first. I have four super heavy battleships. Just let me use them. Just one battle. That's why you don't build navies. It's just not worth it. Wow, we took more naval bombers out. Could have just used fighters for it. I'm gonna have to do an all navy US game at some point. Please let it end. Just make sure that the strength is at zero. These divisions will not be able to mount any resistance anymore. Final one, probably. Ah, come on, one more. One more, one more, one more. Final one, final one. Ah, one more. There we go. Easy. Don't think Sakalin is inhabitable anymore. You should know the drill by now. All right, looks like they need a little bit of air support. It's not close air support though. <laughs> All right, we can liberate the Ainu. No, we need this for the Chukchi Peninsula. I think we also need to do... There we go. That was quick. Those three wars that we just waged. But we can now become Turkestan. Wow. That is a flag. <laughs> if you enjoyed this, you can also watch this video where I made a mod that deletes every single factory in the game and the game was very crazy.